Me? Nav? I booked myself a flight. <laughs> I don't I don't do night runs. That's how people go missing, okay? Turning on. That's yours, right? Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> okay. Then. This one is mine, and then this one, y'all, is what I want to get. This one is the one that I want to upgrade to. Supposedly, it's supposed to be like very clear, and it adapts to night vision, and it's just everything. So Question. hopefully, yeah. Will they exchange it for you? No, bro. She you? always trying to exchange something, y'all. <laughs> no. <laughs> You buy the best bag? But I had yeah. it for like years. No, I would So this is you have, Do you have uh, And then it got a, it got an inbuilt microphone. This is a microphone. That's a microphone? Yeah, that's a microphone. It's supposed to pick up like everything. Then this one, it comes out like this. Instead of mine's coming up on the top, and this one comes out from the side. I think that's pretty cool. Because then you could just hold it like this and then like see. Kind of like that, so. You can this on yours. No, I can't. It only goes up. So this is the camera that I. And then look, me. You can also turn this. Oh, cool. You can turn this inside like this. And then if you want, you turn it. You should be able to turn this on too. Good. I bet you. I bet you can, man. Mm -hmm. So. So how much is that one? That's the number one question. Seven, almost seven hundred. This is almost seven hundred. $700? That was like it takes nice pictures. That's on David Hammer. Eh? I'm not sure. But hopefully I could get this one. This is what I really want. I'm not gonna get it today, but I do want to. I know, right? Did you know drones are illegal in some states? I did not know that. I found out the other day. Yeah, this is what I really want. So this is four hundred. That's that yours? That's like what's that one? Yeah, that's the Sony one. ZV14. Oh. Yours is not like that. No, that's not mine. So mine is like Sony A something. They don't have it? Do you guys sell a lot of it? Uh, the ZV10s, yes. I have been selling more of the Mark IIs lately, but. Um, yeah, that's like the upgrade one of it. Right? Has a, uh, a much bigger battery. It's in picture mode right now. Mm -hmm. Picture mode? Yours look better. Hold on, but it's in picture mode. Oh, okay. I don't know why it's in. Somebody has a one two hundredth of a second for for shutter speed. But that's weird. Why is it like black and white? So it's not. It's. I guess it's seventy eighty. Put on there. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Compared to mine, okay, y'all. I'm gonna show you guys how you look on this one. But you would have to see like after. It's like, I don't know. Let me see. I do. Let's look, compare it side to side. I can bring the ISO down a little bit too if you need to. Let's try it. The camera settings. Okay. Okay, y'all, this is me with what type of lens is this? It's a 24 millimeter f2.8. Okay, I like it. It's clear. What do you think, Vince? I noticed the difference as soon as yeah. we start. Yeah, this one is nice. I like this. I can see myself. Can we the other one too? Can we zoom out? No, it, they're, they're fixed focal lengths. They're fixed. Okay. I kind of wouldn't like that though, because you know, as a vlogger, I kind of want a wider view. This one is Ooh, like, this is this wow. is this is it. I this like that one. Nice. This, is, this is it. I like this. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one, y'all. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. Okay, this is like so clear. That's it. It's just like, dang, I like it. And it's a wider view, like you said. And this one is the what? A 20 millimeter F1.4. 1. 1.4. 1. And how much is one square? 899. Just the lens? Just the lens. Oh, Lord. I mean, the I was going to spend that for that, though. I was gonna spend that for the whole camera for this one. But the and then this one, I'll be getting that. You will be getting an extra. So it, I don't think upgrading the camera makes a difference as long as you get it. It, it, can, it can make some differences. Hi, Stinkabuds. I missed y'all. 
I can't remember when was the last time I picked up this camera. I think the last time I talked to you guys was when I was at Best Buy and I was looking at cameras and lens to get. I did not get a new camera, but it's in the works. I'm finna get it. I'm finna get it. Like, I'm finna get it. I just want to make sure that's what I want because I was going to buy it in there. One thing that my godson said, sorry, my makeup. I hate this new, um, I don't like it. Like the milk of magnesium. I, no, I'm sorry. Ooh. The milky, um, what is it? Primer. I don't like it, y'all. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. It's just not doing it for me. Like, I feel like it makes my face so oily. I already have oily skin. And I feel like it doesn't control my oil. I don't know. And I'm doing everything. Like, even on the bottle, it says, like, you have to apply the milk, the milky primer, and then let it set for, like, two to three minutes, I think. I even go above and beyond that. Like, I will, the first thing that I'll do is put the primer on my face. And then I'll do my eyebrows. I'll do my eyeshadow. And then I let it, like, sink in. And for some reason, I still don't like it. I don't know. I think I'm going to go back to the, the Milk of Magnesium. Yeah, I know it's not a primer, but that's like the only thing that I use as a primer that actually keeps my face from not being so oily, keep my makeup intact for hours. I'm talking about I could have the Milk of Magnesium on for hours and my face look like it just got touched. Like... I love the milk of magnesium. I think I'm just going to stick to that. I'm going to stop buying primers. I'm going to stop trying new primers. I'm going to stop all that. I'm just going to stick to the milk of magnesium at this point. Because that's the only thing that's doing it for me, love. Sorry. But anyways, we're not here to talk about primers. I don't know why I keep touching my hair. Maybe because I'm still in love with it. <laughs> I just came back from church. And um, I'm about to get something to eat now. I didn't cook yesterday. Um, I'm about to have some leftovers from like a day ago. And I, the last time I cooked was a Thursday. And honestly, I want to go buy food so bad. Like, I want to go buy something to eat. I was supposed to um, go with my cousin later on today. Because um, we live so far apart. Um, she lives in a different state than I do. I don't know if she wants me to say what state she lives in. But... She lives in a different state, and I live in Florida, so um, we're like miles away from each other. But we it's her birthday Monday. Happy early birthday, cousin. Love you all so much, and I thank you so much for the support. I thank you so much for watching and supporting me in many different ways. I'm so proud of the woman that you are and the woman that you are to become. Um, you are very important in my life. I thank you for being a friend. I thank you for being a supportive friend. And I thank you for being there for me. And I hope that you have the best birthday ever. And I hope that God blesses you to see many, 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 many more. And again, I'm so proud of the woman that you are and becoming. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for you for this new chapter in your life. Love you. Y'all, it's the same day, by the way. <laughs> Before I even get to talking, it's the same day. I just finished... Well, no, I'm still not done editing. I was going to say I just finished edit um, this week vlog, but I'm not done. I just still have some minor touches. I just need a break. But, y'all, I just got my Amazon package, and I'm just so excited to share with you guys. So, we're going to open my package together because I've never done an open my package with me. This, I think this is the one I'm mostly excited about, right? I think this one is it, but I don't know. But I have a feeling this one is the package, so we're gonna open this one first. I just ordered some few little things that I needed, but hold on. Ugh, yes, it is it. As you guys know, I am taking my um, my workout journey to the next level. I am trying to be a consistent runner. That's what I want to do. I want to be a consistent runner. Um, hopefully, maybe one day I could join those like 5K 
um, running things and stuff like that. Maybe one day I'll be able to do it. But um, I decided to amp it up a little bit because one of the things that I really want to lose weight um, around is my shoulder area. Like, I don't like how... How do I say this? I don't like how broad my shoulder area is. And I've never had broad shoulders until I gain weight. So I realized like I'm running, I'm losing weight in my shoulders, but not as fast as I want to lose weight in my shoulders. So I amped it up a little bit. I brought it to the next notch. I'm. This is not only gonna make my running journey more elite, but it is also going to help me lose weight like around my shoulder areas. Um, is it like a scientific fact? No. Did I Google this? No. I just came up with the conclusion myself. Yeah. So, you ready for it? Drum roll, please. Ready? So, I got me a running vest, y'all. I got me a running vest. I got me a running vest. I want to take my running serious. I want to take my running into the next level. And this right here is going to make my running elite. Elite is going to take me to the next level. So this is the five pound. This is the, the smallest of pounds that they have. It, go, it starts at five and then it goes up, I think, by five. But um, this is the smallest size or pound that they had. Um, this is the five pound. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to open it with you guys. I feel like a kid opening up my Christmas gift. I'm so happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. I'm happy. It is heavy for a five pound. Like, real sad. It comes with the reflective lights at night, so that's nice too, but I don't run at night. I need it to be bright when I'm running. I don't I do not do night runs. That's how people go missing, okay? I don't. I personally don't do that. So the reflective this doesn't really like, it didn't really attract me. It's not like a reason why I got it, but I do know that a lot of people do run at night. You know what I mean? The most I run is like late evening, and I, I wrap it up quick. When I see, like, I can no longer see myself, <laughs> like, mm -mm. I wrap it up quick. I wrap it. Hey, you guys. So, I came to try out my new running vest slash walking vest. As you guys can see, I'm at the park, and I have the vest on now. I'm really excited. Like, you can tell you're getting older when stuff like this is what excites you. It's my first round. Um, well, it's not even a full round yet because I haven't even completed the full round. But um, I'm on my first round. And so far, I like the feeling of it because it, it adds like that little extra weight on it. And it kind of like make you work out a little more, which helps burn extra calories. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, I haven't started running with it yet. I'm going to start running with it soon. I'm going to walk one, and I'm going to run the next. And then I'll check in with you guys. And I'll let y'all know how it feels. I'm out of breath already. Yeah, it feels like it's about to rain. Like, it's literally drizzling. And I can feel, like, drops of rain just falling on me. And I hate that for me because it's like, dang, bro. Can I walk in peace? I really hope it don't rain. But I'm just trying to get my three miles in because I do have to go to Walmart after this. I don't know if I want to go to Walmart or Dixie. I don't know, but I do know I want to go to the grocery store after this so I could buy stuff to meal prep for next week. Well, this upcoming week, I should say. Um, but I hope it doesn't rain so I could run. All right, y'all. So I just ran my first mile with the vest. It went good. I felt like I should have got the 10 pound. I should have went up, accepted the challenge, 
and do the 10 pound. But I just seen this girl here, uh, this black queen. She just ran by me with the baby stroller. When I see things like that, it just make me, it just reminds me that, bro, like, if you aren't where you want to be, it's because you're literally making excuses for yourself. Because this girl's with a whole newborn. And still, she is able to get up and come run because she wants to lose her baby weight. Which I think she's perfectly fine. But um, this just wants to show you that if you're not where you want to be, it's literally just excuses. Like, oh, I have a busy life. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, if you really want it bad enough, you'll do it. And that's what she just motivated me and reminded me of because she's with the whole newborn, pushing a stroller, and she's running. Like, if that's not dedication, bro, what it is? That just made me so much more motivated. And that just made me like feel like, dang, bro, like, excuses. You're not losing this weight excuses you're not eating healthy excuses you're not where you want to be excuses i don't know i just see stuff like that and it just motivates me and it just made me feel so connected and that's one of the reasons why i'd be so happy to work out outside not that i'm saying the gym is not motivating because the gym is motivating but i don't know outside got a different got a different feel to it like you know what i mean it got a different like game to it like you really gotta really want this to be working out outside because it's hot there's bugs people driving by like you really gotta want this but anyways look at the sky look how pretty it is the sun is setting it's a beautiful day for a walk <sighs> get into it y'all Get motivated. This is my gossipy to be glue. Whenever I start running, it just get real like whitish. Yeah, get into it. Hey y'all. Uh, so I am at One Dixie. I decided to come to One Dixie instead to get some stuff. And I'm just shopping to um so I can meal prep. I don't know what I really want to meal prep, but I do know I want to meal prep and that's not good because Remember I was telling y'all on my last vlog, I don't like to come to the stores without like knowing exactly what I want because then I end up getting stupid stuff that I don't want and I hate that for me. So I'm, I'm I don't know, I need to come up with a plan like quick. I'm thinking about making a chicken Caesar salad. But the thing is y'all, when I get salads, like it just spoils so Quick. I don't know. Okay, so it's settled. I'm making a chicken Caesar salad for myself. That's gonna be one of my meals. Now I need another meal. Oh, I can make, I already got some chicken at the house. So I can make chicken and rice with some veggies. So let me look for some veggies. Bread now. Stay away from the bread. Stay away from the bread. I almost went to the bread, y'all. Y'all, I just seen gluten free and grain free bread. I think I like this. I don't know. It looks kind of nasty. Bread. This is supposed to be like the healthiest bread ever. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Dude. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I gotta talk myself into getting it. I'm not gonna get it today. But I so far I think I'm doing good. Um I'm just looking for breakfast stuff and I don't see much breakfast stuff that I like. Y'all, look how much eggs is. This is crazy, only for 12. Let's go on and get the out of Lulu. All right, y'all, I think I'm done. I think I did good. We'll see, though. I only got 
this. That wasn't on my list, but I got this because I'm hungry now. But I don't know if I'm gonna eat all that. And I got this just to knock it out, but I don't know if I'm gonna eat that either. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of the vlog, you guys. I am, um, I'm so excited, like, <laughs> I'm so excited. So, I did a thing, y'all. I did a thing, I did a thing, I did a thing, and I'm so, like, I'm nervous about it. I'm happy I did it. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm just overwhelmed with, like, different emotions. Okay, so, this is the thing that I did, y'all. Okay, so, last night when I was at work, because I worked last night, I booked myself a flight. <laughs> I booked myself a flight to Chicago for tomorrow for the rest of my days off. Because I have like a good stretch of days off um, coming up. So I booked a trip to Chicago. So I'm going for three days to Chicago. And when I come back, I still have two more days off. Okay, so I'm nervous because I never traveled by myself before. Like, I never solo traveled before. I always traveled with my family, with a friend, with, like, somebody, right? So I'm always traveling with somebody with me. But lately, I've been feeling like, okay, I'm, I've been wanting to, like, travel. I've been wanting to do things for such a long time, right? Like, different things. Not even just traveling, like, just local things, trying new restaurants, and blah 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 and i'm trying to get comfortable with traveling by myself because i feel like when you're staying and you're waiting for people to travel with you and you're waiting for people to do things with you you just lose a lot of your life because not everywhere not everybody is at the same place that you're at certain people like they don't have the financial mean at the same time as you to take the trip so therefore you can't go or they they have personal situations going on they have family issues or they're like they have kids and you don't so they have to find like ways for their kid to be taken care of in their absence um like so much different reasons as to why somebody cannot go with you and do the things that you want to do when you want to do them so um i'm just learning to like not put my life on hold for people or not for people because of people because nobody's asking me to put my life on hold so um i just i'm learning not to put my life on hold because of people and i want to start living like that's the thing that i told myself like i want to start living and i work really hard um being a nurse is like extremely and tremendously hard like i i vent to you guys so much about being a nurse um i feel like it's only right that i'm able to enjoy the fruits of my labor like i work hard like i really really do like mentally and physically i work hard and I work hard and I want to play hard so and I know that some people um, may not be in a place where they want to travel and like right now they don't want to travel they just want to take it easy or they just want to relax they want to save they want to do this they want to do that they want to have kids they want to start a family they want to get married they they want to like get their money up they there's so much reasons why they don't want to at the moment so what am I supposed to do just stay there and be like what waiting for them to have the perfect opportunity for them and i and i'm also a strong believer in if you know me i say this a lot i'm a strong believer of there is no right time there's never a right time there if you're waiting for a right time in life heavy on right time if you're waiting for a, a right time in life you will like be very stagnant in my opinion this, this is just my opinion this is not like you know this is just me I feel like for me and my life, how I practice my life, how I live my life, is I tell myself that if you're waiting for the right time for something, you're going to be stagnant. You're going to be stuck where you're at until you finally decide that you no longer want to be there because there's never a right time. Life is going to keep lifing. Like you, I, I remember hearing this thing from, what's his name? Oh my goodness, what's his name? 
oh, I could picture his face in my, in my mind, but his name's not coming. Leslie, Leslie Brown. I think that's his name. I'm going to double check. Um, yeah, he said this one thing that stuck with me. He said, you're either just leaving a problem or going into a problem. And those were the realest words I've ever heard because that is straight facts. You're either just getting out of a problem or you're about to get into a problem. That's just life. And I don't want to be like, I personally for my life, I don't want to be the type of person like, oh, I'll wait for a better opportunity. There is no better opportunity coming, love. Like there, I mean, yeah, there's a better opportunity coming, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Not in this sense, like the way that I'm using. Of course, there's always a, a better opportunity to come, like, duh. But I'm saying, like, in the way that I'm talking, like, that I'm, you know, trying to, you know, word it out, is, like, there is never a right time to live your life. There's never a right time to live your life because life will keep lifing. It's just going to get harder. It's not going to get easier. Um, and every time you think you got a hold of it, something's going to come and it's going to distract you. It's going to take you out your way. That's just life. You know, that's just life. That's just life. You know, if we had it all figured out, then why would God, the creator of the universe, you know, be still be here is because we, we are, we're going to continuously need him. We're going to continuous, continuously rely on him. I just said all that to say, I'm going on a trip. I'm going on a last minute trip. It's a solo trip. I'm not going with anybody but myself. I'm nervous. I've never got on a plane by myself. So that's, that's also making me nervous. Um, I've never been out of state, out of city, anything by myself. So that's making me nervous. And I'm going to Chicago and I have less than 24 hours to prepare. So what we're about to go do now is run errands. And mind you, I have to go to work tonight. Okay. So I have to go to work tonight. And my flight is tomorrow. It leaves at 12.40. I haven't even packed. I need travel size stuff because I'm only doing a carry-on. And um, we need to go get stuff to put like my carry-ons in. I don't even know what I'm going to wear. Basically, we have a trip in 24 hours. We are going to go get ready for our trip in 24 hours. First order of business, I have to go to um, my sister house because I have to go get something to mail out. So I have to go get that. I got to mail, I got to um, mail that out because it's very important. I cannot go out of state without mailing that. And then we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to get travel size um, bottles. And then we're going to go. To, no, first we're going to go to the dollar store because y'all know how I feel about the dollar store. We locked in. So we got to go to the dollar. We just got here. We're getting like the travel size stuff. Toothpaste so far is what I got. We got this. hi guys good morning so it's the next day today is the day of my flight and i'm sorry that i couldn't record yesterday because the last time that i spoke to you guys was when i was at walmart y'all like i'm so sorry that i couldn't like record and show you guys the process but i had so much to do like <clears throat> honestly it was a lot to do um I would not book a flight this close again. Like, at least the minimum I'm going to give myself is a week because flying out the next day that you booked is a lot. And for somebody like me who is not used to traveling light or carry-ons only, usually I have a check bag and I don't have to worry about, like, um the size of stuff or anything like that or getting like <clears throat> like traveling size bottles or anything like that. I don't have to worry about those things like it's, it's it's I had to get a whole lot of the whole lot and I'm not doing that anymore so from now on like at least a week in advance I have to book something because it was too much to do and then I had to find somewhere um to dog sit ace and then finally I found somewhere. I'm about to go drop him off now. Um, I plan to leave around 
reached 9 30 it's currently 9 23 and um and then i had to find a ride to the airport <laughs> i had to find a ride to the airport unfortunately my flight is at 12 um <clears throat> 12 40 p.m so it's the middle of the day nobody like <clears throat> excuse me i don't know what's going on nobody i knew was available last minute to take me in the middle of the day everybody had to work most of most of my friends and family work during the day so it's like no they don't have time so i had to find somewhere to park my car and y'all know the airport parking be taxing um it was just a lot it was just a lot that i didn't even consider that i didn't even, like factor in when i was booking the ticket i was just like i deserve it book i didn't even like think like girl where you gonna leave your car how you gonna get there who's gonna watch ace da -da -da -da. i didn't think of nothing like that but anyways i am so happy i'm so excited i'm ready to go i'm about to leave soon i just wanted to give you guys a quick little update i didn't just want to just start vlogging in the airport i wanted you guys to um get a quick little update as to why i didn't vlog yesterday it was just a lot going on it was a lot a lot a lot a lot but i'm just reminiscing i woke up today and i was just so grateful because i'm thinking to myself i'm like wow like god truly have blessed me and i'm able to book a flight for the next day that's so crazy to me like me nav i'm able to book a flight last minute for the next day and it's all glory be to god because if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be able to do none of this he blessed me and let me tell you guys let me tell you guys being faithful in my ties i have truly 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 seen the mercy of god when he says oh i have to find it hold on y'all hold on let me find it for y'all because that bible verse <clears throat> Okay, let, there it is. When he says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test in me this and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that you will not have room enough to receive it. Like, I'm a living testimony of that Bible verse. And if you want to read it for yourself, the Bible verse is Malachi 3, um, 10. Just meditate in it. Like I am a living testimony of that Bible verse. And being faithful in my ties is the reason why I'm able to do this. It's not because I'm a rich nurse. No, like I'm not the rich nurse that people be showing on tiktok what people don't tell you about that about i feel like people don't tell you is that when you freshly graduate from nursing school it's hard to start making that type of money that you see people on social media is talking about i'm not saying it's impossible i'm saying that it's hard because you're a new grad you don't know what you're doing everybody wants you to be full staff or um yeah full staff and we all know full staff ain't making that much money. Like, we all know full staff in healthcare is not making the most. We know it's the travelers. We know it's the seasonals. We know it's the PRN princesses. And then lastly, the full times are making the least out of the bunch. So we, we know this. So it's not because I'm a rich nurse or I have it like that. It's only, only by the grace of God and my faithfulness and ties like i make sure i pay my ties before i do anything like i don't even i don't even care about any other bill unless my tie money is taken out like i don't care like i the soon as i get paid i'm like let me pay my ties and then i budget like i'm so serious i kid you not and then i budget i don't i don't budget around my ties like i mean i don't 
budget and then put my ties in the budget like my ties is not a budget my ties is gonna get paid baby and i'll figure the rest out later and i'm telling you it works for me like i paid my ties and i'm like dang so how am i gonna budget this in how am i gonna budget this in? how am i gonna do this and i'm telling you god have made a way where there seems to be no way for me like i am a living testimony of that bible verse like so I, twice this happened to me y'all like i'm over here like oh dang how am i gonna budget this in this bill in because i paid my tithes and i'm gonna be short in this category right twice this happened to me may god be my witness i received two different checks in the mail unexpectedly and i'm like dang it was just enough to make sure like two checks in the mail unexpectedly and i'm like what's like and i open the mail I'm like somebody send me a check and i'm like dang let me go catch it real quick <laughs> no <laughs> no but like i'm so serious y'all like i can't make this up when i tell you i'm a living testimony of that bible verse and it's only because of the fact that i am faithful in my ties and i god have opened doors for me and open opportunities for me that i'm able to do this like i am not the rich nurse baby like not yet not yet like i have to everywhere you go it's like you have to have experience if you want to do traveling they want experience if you want to be seasonal you have to do experience it's like ghetto you know like the first year of nursing or the first year to two years depending on your goals the first year to two years the only focus is learning how to be a nurse because school don't teach you how to be a nurse they teach you how to pass exams and when you get on the floor and you be a nurse it's a whole different thing and then once you got your skills then you start making money then you go to prn princess then you go to part-time princess then you go to traveling then you go to seasonal because you have that experience under your belt but when you first start out like you're you're not you're not making that much money like majority of of new grads aren't making that much money i'm gonna say that because i'm pretty sure somewhere somewhere around the world there's a new grad out there that's making like hella money um just from being a new grad i wouldn't i wouldn't doubt it i wouldn't and then also too it depends on your specialty because i know that psych um nurses is on the higher pay side um i see you nurses is on the higher pay side compared to like med surge and stuff like that so it does depend on your specialty as well and it depends on where you work it depends on your state it depends on a lot so i can't like just say oh you won't be making no money don't be discouraged to the nurses that are in school like girl keep going like trust me keep going you you got this but anyways it's 9 30 i done talked me up a storm y'all know me i'm a top boy if I don't do nothing else, I'm a, you feel me? <laughs> no, but anyways, I gotta go. It's 9.30 on the dock, so I have to go. Um, I don't wanna be late. I don't wanna miss my flight, so I'm gonna go ahead and go right now. But anyways, I will see you guys at the airport. Love you guys.